All right, people, welcome back to Dalen Duels, episode 666. Yes, people, we are back and we are using Infernoids. I wanted to try this deck out. Uh, you know, people believe that once the current decks that are currently the best deck get hit enough that uh, they will go ahead and drop down to a lower tier and uh, this deck will be the new king. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out. So what do you do? I don't know much return you can target blah 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 and what do you do? Your opponent's first and once you can switch down blah 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 blah. Oh, okay. Didn't open up that well, I must say. Oh yeah. Yeah, roughly like three times. Like sure, I'll I'll go ahead and special up summon up a storm like once after I'm fucking done with you. So yeah, we did not open up that well. I have a feeling that if I regeki him now and then summon this, that he'll pretty much be screwed. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and special summon you. Like I said, I'm not sure if the balance is. I sat there editing the deck trying to find a, a decent balance between uh card cannot attack turn out to Do I wanna get that back row? Not really worry about the damage. I'll I'd rather destroy. I'd rather go ahead and destroy. Okay. Like I said, I'm not worried about the damage. Damn. Damn. Damn, this man. Wiped this shit and he just scoffed it up. <laughs> Well, well, be right back. So, yeah, I wanted to try this deck out. People say it's gonna be the you know the next best shit. So I was like, all right, well, let me see. But of course, you guys know, Infernoid is not my cup of tea. I think I'd rather go second with this deck since this deck generally likes to push out a lot of damage. So he got a couple of Infernoids here. Let's go ahead and see how they do. I keep on getting the Lumina. I dropped the Lumina down to two because you know it's better late game than early game. Early game, it really doesn't do anything. There's Raiden. I will go ahead and take a Raiden. Did two. Uh, happened to Miller Raiden. That's fine. Cause it's like a double-edged sword. I melt with Monster Gate though. Uh, the less light swords that are in the deck, the better. Because then when I activate Reasoning, I'm just gonna go to town. Hopefully not too much. You know. Uh, right now I'm running six light sword monsters: two Lila, two Lumina, and two uh, Raiden. Cause Lumina, running multiples of her is bad. Because you have too many copies of her, then she doesn't do anything. Like, clearly, like, no, because I was running three, and I'm like, ah, you know, there goes my two Lilas, two Raiden, so all I have left is the Lumina, so if I, if I mill that Lumina, then I can't even play Reasoning, because I'll probably deck myself out. I'd just be like, Reasoning, oh, when am I going to get a monster? Oh, never. Okay, bye world. <laughs> so, uh... I don't even know what I want to do or go into, just because there's really not much that I want to do right now. You know, Petrulia, hold my dick, another Petrulia, Venomous. Venomous is good if I, you know, discard attacks and opponent's monster, and then Tondolo, he attacks twice if you destroy a monster. Yeah, there's not much I should be doing right now. That's just as my opponent isn't doing anything. If my opponent's not going to do much, then I'm not going to do much, so. Oh, there goes one of my Miracle Digs. I'm running Miracle Dig just because I feel like Burial is enough. I'm worried, I'm worried about, you know, banishing too much. I'm worried about milling, not milling enough. Yeah, this deck isn't my cup of tea. Definitely is not. I, you guys know I hate milling. You know, I definitely don't want to. Well, I guess milling the Charger Light Brigade. Why not at this point? You know, at this point, why not? So I guess I can go ahead and actually summon an Infernoid monster in this video. I think I'm about going into a Tondal. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go into a Tondal. We got some Infernoids in my grave, which uh, I, they're good because they have the kind of aspect like Dragon Rulers where you can summon them from your hand or graveyard by banishing. So that's the reason why I say the deck is pretty good in that aspect because they, they got the kind of like the, the Dragon Ruler vibe to them. You know? And then attack you and then just attack you again for game because you did like absolutely nothing in this duel. Just summon a spell striker. Like, wow. Alright, well, get another duel and be right back. So, yeah, just a really milly, aggressive deck. It's totally not my cup of tea, but I wanted to go ahead and try it, you know. Uh, my friend, who uh, you guys might know, Chen Link One, he actually. Uh, plays in a friendly deck, and uh, he did put up a deck profile of his deck on my channel. I'll go ahead and link it in the description. 
we're going against like Piper. All right, we'll go ahead and activate Reasoning. Call it. See, Reasoning is a difficult card because it's kind of hard to get the correct number of Infernoids compared to Light Swords, you know? Damn, damn, damn. This man just scooped it up like, nigga, you want to play Mystic Piper? You probably have them Battle Faders and Swiss Scarecrows? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, you, you mailed too many Infernoids. I quit. GG. Like, damn. Like, damn, I can't even get a duel win. Like, apparently, this deck is too good. Whew. They're back. All right, back. So, this is definitely the new deck that Konami is trying to promote the Infernoids, the, the monsters that are inside of Cleese, apparently. Uh, no. I'm gonna take the duel slow. There's really no point in me doing anything first turn. I, that's why I'm saying the deck drama likes to go second. You know, what's the point of banishing my Infernoids and going first? They don't do anything. So we bought, we got both Onuchu and we got uh, Deviati, or I think it's Lilith. I think it's Lilith, but they changed it to Deviati. Oh, we are going up against a powerful uh, Star Shadows. An actual engine, like I said. If this card went down to one, the deck wouldn't be dead, because they still at least have three scepters, so. Yeah. So I guess that wouldn't be terrible, but. So I'm thinking about going ahead and summoning Onuchu. The problem with summoning one Onuchu is that. It would be the only thing I have in the field, and it contributes stuff to negate a spell or chop card. But Lilith, on the other hand, when it's summoned, I get to wipe the field and watch the effect that I attribute a card. I think I'm gonna go ahead and summon a new chew. Yeah, we'll go ahead and summon a new chew. And we will get rid of. I wanna get rid of you, you, and you. Me too. Yeah. And I had the void seer. Card's pretty good. Get off my field. Gonna poke for three fucking thousand. Like, wow, the power. That was a debate between an Ochu and, and Deviani. I'm not sure, because now I know to it tributes to negate a spell or trap. I'm not sure how many spell and traps he's going to activate, you know? I feel like he's going to activate more monster effects. See, this is the, this is one of the reasons why I don't like Infernoids. Yep. So it doesn't matter now. If I had Deviati, we'd be fine. I should have went to Deviati. Now I'm just looking like I'm in trouble. That's probably my fault, though. I don't know how to play this deck correctly, apparently. Yeah, I could special summon you. Maybe a harm deck, special summon Nantra. Get the effect, return you to the extra deck. Go ahead. And you can only be summoned from your hand, right? Yeah, only from the hand. The small ones can only be summoned from the hand, while the big ones can be summoned from the graveyard as well. Now he's just gonna out resource me. You can just keep on summoning these fours. Oh, that's fine. Yep, should have went for Deviati. If I went to Deviati, I wouldn't be getting jumped by these fours like this right now. So that was totally my fault. He's gonna go ahead and go into Ptolemyos, detach three, slap the Nova on top, slap the Infinity on top. You guys already know what's happening. He's doing it OCG style. You could take fucking simple ass decks like fucking any rank four and do and slap it on Infinity. Like Infinity's busted, clearly. Yeah, that's game. That was definitely game. I can't beat an infinity. <laughs> Not even. Oh, I got burial though. He'll just negate it though. The, if he negates it, do I have anything else? That's the question. Nope. Absolutely not. You can only be something from the hand. Damn. I think I might have lost this. If I can get something to handle the infinity after I activate the burial and he negates it. He has like a 
weird combination of OCG and TCG deck. Like, it's just really weird. Because he's, he's going by TCG rulings, but then he's doing OCG plays. Charge? Okay. Alright. Oh, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing. Get the red in so I can mail now. Mail my reasoning. Like, at least I got some now. I got some in the side of this. Maybe I can get out of this. Might come down to his back row. Cool. Uh, to 19 for mailing my light horns. Alright, so like I said, I'm thinking about go ahead and going to go and activate Burial, him and get it, he shouldn't get it, something sign him, sign him, run over the infinity, and then banish that and run over that as well, so we might be able to come back into this. No. You, you, you. You want to allow me to get that? I wouldn't. Yep. Especially in the side of us. Actually, you and you. So it comes down to his back row. Comes down to his back row. So let's just say this card attack right attack, and you banish one card and failed. Yep, there it is. Ah, of course. All the answers. Yep, that's game. Alright. Then set any background, and all of a sudden it's Mirror Force. Like, of course! Like, why wouldn't it be? Alright, let's get another Dolan. They're back. Alright. I didn't say that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and go second. Alright, this hand's not terrible. Yeah, I just need to see the deck because it's not my cup of tea, but it might be good, but I have no idea. Ooh, trains. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a difficult one. Definitely gonna be a difficult one. I uh, so not to down two. So you're the one that's a dark hole, right? Yeah. I get these guys mixed up so far. Wow, it's not gonna play anything or do anything. Okay. I'll go ahead and summon red and start milling. What's up with me? I always know my light zones. Right now, I'm, I dropped it. I dropped it even lower down to just two red and two lumina, and let's keep mailing my light zones and drawing my light zones. So I guess we'd make some reasoning okay. Right now, I only have one monster left in the deck, though. Oh, time to deal with Dora. Dora's so powerful. Now I gotta deal with her. Hmm. How the fuck am I gonna deal with Dora? <laughs> I have no fucking idea how I'm gonna deal with Dora. Trying this card out too, and clearly, you see, if it was MST, I would have just popped this scrapyard, but it's not. Like, so far, it's just shit I don't like. Like, let me try the fucking Galaxy Cyclone everybody's hyping about. Let me try Inferno as everybody's hyping about. And right now, I'm just like, nope, hate that. Hate that. This is stupid. Like, nigga. I have an extra deck. How strong would you be? Equal to the difference. It's like 2,900. Yeah, I'd be able to run over the Kandara, right? 2,900? I'd be at 5,000, right? Yeah, let's try it. Let's go ahead and try it. And just like arriving. Right, 
Damn. So do I have a, a Sedimus? Is that the one? Sorry, Toxoplex Monster. No. Okay, not you. Who am I looking for? I'm looking for someone to destroy the fucking seal spell. Target the monster and try to destroy it. No. Uh, I can summon Lilith. Harmadek. I'm thinking about summoning Lilith and wiping his back row, which of course be that. And then when he activates the monster effect, I contribute it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Lilith. Or, or Lilith. Yeah, Deviati. And I will banish you, you, and you. Yes. 29, 29. Stats aren't bad. Get rid of that. You should take a wyvern. Go ahead and tackle your monster. It doesn't matter. Because I'm bigger than you, so I don't even care if you become unafflicted by card attack. Okay. Like, it's not Felgrim. Like, damn, now I'm 8,900. 8, Head ass. <laughs> Mound of the Brown. Okay. What you gonna do with Mound of the Brown? Ruffian, fuck me for 500. It's fine. <laughs> That's totally fine. Ooh, a burial left. Alright, now I can do a Galaxy Cyclone. That's most definitely game. Maybe if I'm struggling Seed Monster to do this. Mm, okay. Kato Bingo. <laughs> Alright. You go ahead and attack. Is that it? Did I, did I come through? Over 9,000? Game? Whew! I'm so glad I put Ancient Sacred Wyvern in. I'm so glad. I like this guy. <laughs> Whenever I play something light storm based like that, like put like, Ancient Sacred Wyvern, it'll come through with the, the sickness, and it, it certainly did. Whew! The power. All right, we'll get one more dueling. We are back. All right, back once again. So so far the deck, like I said, this is my cup of tea, and I really didn't like the Galaxy Cyclone right then and there. This hand is not that good either. Like. Once again, getting these fucking Luminas with no riding, it's kind of lame, like... Oh, and I'm doing his Dark Worlds too? Like, ew. I'm gonna throw up in my mouth right now. Ugh, oh my god. Why would you do that? I have no idea what my opponent is doing right now. Plus, I don't even know what I should keep. I mean, neither of them are that helpful. Not, none of this is helpful. I don't know what you're doing. First turn, you were just going way too fucking stupid with Dark Worlds. Like, completely stupid. Once again, fucking Galaxy Cyclone. I wish you were MST. I just MST the fucking field spell instead of being like, oh, he doesn't have any set cards. Like, I hate this card right now. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I wanna. I wanna fucking just rip you out of this fucking deck. Like you are fucking me up. Guess I'll go ahead and summon Lumina. Summon Lumina and mill three during the end phase because that's the best I can do with this fucking hand. Hand's fucking garbage. And this fucking garbage. I'm looking at a fucking grappler right now. Think about just throwing the regeki at him because he can't. You know, unless he draws a. Uh. A dark world can't do anything. Yeah, fuck it. I'll go ahead and do it. I'm not. In, I'm not gonna be facing anything worse than a fucking grassland. It's not like I might as well do it now, when I know he doesn't have any fucking dark worlds right now. Because if he did, he would have just summoned it, returned it, and then summoned another graffa. No, well, if he top decks another dark world, oh, it's all charge. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so now I gotta do a two graffas. Yay! Soul charge. Ah. Uh... Why do you want to make this fucking duel hard for me? You didn't even need to do that. You fucking drew the... You had the page. Like, I don't even know what you're doing. No idea what you're doing. 
you're a bad Dark Lord player, I'm probably still gonna lose because I opened up like complete fucking and utter ass. I'm also not liking the Miracle Deck. That's not really doing anything right now. Seems like I don't banish that much. Like, late game it seems good, but right, early game is terrible. Fucking just terrible. Oh, oh, that top deck though. That's a beautiful top deck. I'm gonna go ahead and black rose your ass. Your ass. Yep, gonna go ahead and black rose your ass and call the video. Ooh, that was a beautiful top deck. Let's go ahead and go on the black rose. Not gonna lose to no bad dark world player. Get the shit off my field. Uh, is there anybody uh, anything that I want to do? Anything that I want to do? Summon a Tondal, like at this point. Even summoning a Tondal, he'll be way stronger than Graffa unless he draws another field spell. Because then he won't have any Dark Worlds in his hand to pitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending I'm sitting perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and summon a Tondal. Just in case he top decks Dark World, he goes summon return and summons Graffa, he won't be stronger than me. Yep, so. I'll get rid of Get rid of small ones because I can't summon them anymore. Oh, and then I can banish his Grasa too? Yeah, Alex is cycling, you're still just sitting here. Like I said, I wish you were MST. I really do. <laughs> so far, I'm not liking you. This is twice. This is twice. So far. Or MST would have been totally better than fucking this, but we already knew that. Alright, I already knew you were going to top deck another fucking gate, so it's fine. You can't use it, so that's game. I win. Yep. So, of course, I need to fix the deck before we come back next Friday, but so far. The light thorns are kind of iffy. I'm not getting reasoning. That's no. I'm, that's one thing. I'm not getting reasoning. I haven't even used fucking Monster Gate. Uh, I'm not liking the Galaxy Cyclones. I'm not liking the Miracle Decks. I'm doing two Galaxy Cyclones, two Miracle Decks. So, so far I'm not liking it. I'll probably take this out. Doesn't seem necessary. You know. Maybe do they have like their own card that does that? Cause this card seems so bad early in the game. I think they have like some kind of trap card that does it, but I'm not sure. You know. It seems like it seems like for any deck that you know has you know the graveyard trap effect, it should be like Infernoids, you know, like you know UA's got one. It's like oh, when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can search for UA spell. How come they don't have one that's like oh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can search for like an Infernoid monster? That that would be great. You'd run triple of that, but nope. Uh, yes, Seer is the best. Yeah. So, cutting you, hate you. Probably cut you down to two because three seems kind of cloggy. I'm gonna cut you. Uh, I just need to fix the deck. I really do. I need to fix the deck. And I, I need to mill fast. I'm not milling fast enough. You know, I may even put fucking mules bugs in this just to mill fucking faster. Because God, it's just terrible. You know, I want to run the light swim monsters because they mill, but then I don't want to run the light swim monsters because then, you know, I could run it into them early for my, uh, my, uh, Oh my god, I just said the fucking card, Reasoning. So, I need to figure that out. Like I said, and for a deck that's definitely not my cup of tea, I need to get this right. So, anyway, this just happened to be, I did not set this up, I guarantee it. I was literally just thinking, I was like, I don't know what deck I want to try. And then, you know, I saw my friend Sebastian, and he's like, you know, for all, it's like, you know what? You hear people typing this deck up? It's supposed to be the new test, let me go ahead and try it. And then it just happened to be on episode 666. So, the demons on episode 666, it's interesting. We got Cleese and Infernoids, the inside and the outside, on Daily Ghouls now. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, of course, with Omega Chaos and Slate using products. Alright people, thanks for watching.